Hi, I'm Eric, and I'd like to talk to you a bit about what's new with tools in the toolbox in Komodo 6. The first big change is that there's only one toolbox. If you've been using uh, Komodo IDE, you probably had a shared toolbox. Well, I have a shared toolbox active, but it's now incorporated inside the toolbox sidebar. Similarly, uh, my current project here, sample project, if it contained any tools, they would appear inside this toolbox folder. However, it's empty, but uh, just for an example, let's add a macro here. Nothing very fancy. Just make sure we can run it. So there are three different ways I can really run that macro. I can find it in the hierarchy and click on it. Similarly, I could use this filter here and click on it there. But we have a new way of invoking macros. I go under the Tools menu, which is probably cut off here, and there's Invoke Tool, Shift-Command-K, Shift-Control-K on other platforms. But I'm probably editing inside the, uh, in, in the editor right now, so I'd rather not use the mouse. So I'm just going to use Shift-Command-K. Uh, let's see, well, there it's a testing, but I can zoom in, I can arrow down, press Return, and run my macro there. So that's what the invoke tool. It's a more convenient way of running macros. Editing tools hasn't changed. Uh, whoops, I put that in there. We can still edit the macro, like here. Uh, but what's new is that the tool here is actually a JSON file. Now the tools are no longer stored in the XML KPF files. We've spun them out, and that makes it easier to um, load them. So for example, you could import some files, loose files, or a zip file into a project or into a, any folder actually, or it will read another folder of tools and we're still supporting KPZ packages both from your file system as well as from the web. If you have a web page, you can have, for example, uh, a bunch of links that are links to the Komodo tools, um, and I'm just going to show what these look like here, what the JSON looks like. And you can now drag and drop them into the um, toolbox, right into the folder you want them to be. By making them JSON, there's some escaping going on of quotes and backslashes, and new lines. But they were, we figured they were a lot easier to uh, just browse through a tool and get an idea of what it does by reading the source now before you install it. Anyway, that's the tip of the iceberg. Uh, I hope that you have fun exploring it, and it'd be great if you share your tools. Thanks.